bad things do happen in life. I am sure they have happened to you. I am sure people have mistreated you. I am sure sometimes the world has been unjust. I am sure very often your merit has not been recognized. There have been times when you've been besieged by ill health or badly treated by your close relative for whom you did so much with love. It is very often that life serves you with a lemon, a bitter lemon. But how do you respond to it? Do you become bitter inside or do you make a lemonade out of it? Viktor Frankl was a Jew living in Vienna, Austria. When Hitler went on a rampage and started throwing the Jews in Europe into concentration camps, Viktor Frankl along with his family, his two brothers, his wife and his daughters was thrown into the worst of the concentration camps, which was the Auschwitz concentration camp. God has blessed us with a free will, the freedom of choice. Why has God given us all a free will? Because He has created us to love Him. Love is only possible where there is the ability to choose. If we didn't have this ability, there would be no scope to love God. A machine cannot love. Because God wants us to love Him, He gives us the freedom of choice. That freedom you have at every moment. Besides that, we humans are blessed with the faculty of self-awareness. I know I am getting negative emotions. I can be aware of them. Animals may not. God has endowed human beings with the faculty of conscience. The conscience pricks us. This is wrong. God has endowed us with the faculty of self-analysis. With the help of all of these, we can change every program, whether it was a genetic program or an environmental program. We can always choose how to respond. When we understand this freedom we have, then we are no longer slaves to the mind. We have the ability to force the mind to surrender. Oh my dear mind, I will not think the way you want. I will make you think the way I want. An example of this gap between the environment and the response was revealed in a most dramatic way by an author of the last century called Viktor Frankl. He wrote a book called The Search for Meaning in Life. What happened to him was extremely tragic. Viktor Frankl was a Jew living in Vienna, Austria. And he was a psychologist. He even communicated with Sigmund Freud. And some of his papers were published by Sigmund Freud, which means he was so competent in his work. However, when Hitler went on a rampage and started throwing the Jews in Europe into concentration camps, Viktor Frankl along with his family, his two brothers, his wife and his daughters was thrown into the worst of the concentration camps, which was the Auschwitz concentration camp. There he suffered extreme torment. 
he was separated from his wife and daughters and later on came to know they had gotten killed he describes the conditions in that camp he would be walking through the night without clothes not knowing where he was going and whether he would live in the morning or not however through this worst possible torment victor frankel realized that he has one freedom which nobody can take away from him the freedom to choose his own moods the freedom to choose his own ambitions and he said i choose to be happy i choose to be peaceful as he exercised that freedom to control his mind he decoupled himself from the environment and found himself to be free he would now be laughing and smiling and the others the guards the other inmates would say what are you laughing about he said it's my own choice he became an inspiration for all the prisoners there even the guards took inspiration from him he decided to live through this ordeal so that when he would finally be released he would announce to the world his discovery of the freedom of choice at the end of the world war when he was released he went to israel and he began practicing psychology again he established his own school called logotherapy and the book he wrote the search for meaning in life got translated in 15 languages around the world he traveled and spoke in 209 universities and he was felicitated as honorary doctor by 29 of them so bad things do happen in life i am sure they have happened to you i am sure people have mistreated you i am sure sometimes the world has been unjust i am sure very often your merit has not been recognized there have been times when you've been besieged by ill health or badly treated by your close relative for whom you did so much with love it is very often that life serves you with a lemon a bitter lemon but how do you respond to it do you become bitter inside or do you make a lemonade out of it those who became successful in life it's not that they did not have their share of lemons take a look at the saints of india suradas was blind but he did not go around cursing god that why is it i am blind while everybody else can see mirabai was a widow she did not curse that how has destiny treated me everybody is having the happiness of family life and i don't have a husband kabir das was of unknown parentage Tulsi Das whose Ramayana is so famous he was attacked and almost killed his Ramayana was stolen the same happened with the saints in the western world Jesus was hanged Muhammad was thrown out of Mecca so everybody in this world is offered their share of lemons but the art of successful living requires that we respond positively to these share of lemons we understand the gap between what happens to us and how we respond to it and we utilize that gap 